This is a video of how to take the entertainment unit out of the XF, XK Jaguar 2006-2007-2008. First of all, it's easier just to put the ignition on, then press the brake pedal and move the gear stick out of the way. Then switch the ignition off. Then, to start with the dash, just pull it with your fingers and it takes, removes it from the clips and then do it very carefully not to break it. And just work your way around the, the surround of the dash and that pulls out, put that down. Then you have eight screws. You have the, these are the short screws, they're right at the top which hold the actual unit in, in place, and then you have the short screws at the bottom. The other four screws are in the middle, which is there and there. So first of all, put a... a pad over the dash, over the center console, so you don't scratch it, because it's quite heavy, this unit. Then you undo the four bolts, which are there. Remember the bolts in the centre are slightly longer. The short ones go at the top and at the bottom. So then you can just put the unit out in one piece. It comes out. And then, as you can see behind it, you have the information piece here. This is your entertainment module. And then you have your radio and your CT player on the bottom. So if you want to get at anything or do anything, it's that easy. You can undo the wires and you can pull the whole unit out if you want to. You can just unplug everything and pull the whole unit forward and take it out completely out of the car. And then putting it back, if you want to take this piece out, you can take that piece out. That just comes out from behind. If you need to get anything behind the dash. And then that basically goes back in. When you want to put it back, if you want to take your module off, you've got four screws, hold your module on. Entertainment module, sometimes these go wrong, they can cause a battery drain or whatever, uh, which you can check it all out. And if you want to put that back in, just literally make sure the wires are out of the way, and then it literally pops back in. And then you put your screws back in on each side and the bottom. They go on the top and the bottom, the longer ones go in between. And then everything just presses back into place. Once you've got your screws in, this all presses back into place. And it's done.